Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a young lady contacted me off of Facebook, off of Epilogue Facebook page, and asked how she could take this clip art and vectorize it so she could cut it out and also put words, and I don't know if she's wanted some to uh, go straight across or go with the curve of the text, so I thought I'd just make a video. And first of all, Corel inside has banners under... Well, it's different in a couple of places, but uh, under the Polygon tool on X or 2018, it might be under basic shapes, but there's arrows and banner shapes and flow chart, chart. And right up here, you can get different banners. So you could reproduce this. Uh, this is one. It's not probably as neat as the clip art you've got, or you can do this one. And this is good vector art. And there's also this one right here. So there's different banners, it, um, but they don't have the curvature. And you could do this with the envelope tool, but it's really not worth it. So I thought since she, if she's dead set on using this particular one, I would just do it. So I bitmapped it and traced it, and I came out with this after I took the color out. It's not perfect. It could, it could use a little cleaning up, but for engraving, it would really work. So what you're going to want to do once you have this banner shape, you kind of got it cleaned up a little bit. You're going to want to make a duplicate of it, control D, and then nudge it down. And I've just got my nudge distance set on two inches um, to get it out of the way. Then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to go up to object, and I'm going to break curve apart, and it's going to make it all black. Now I'm going to nudge it over, but there's nothing else there, so I don't really have to. Well, when that comes up, your create a boundary comes up. And just click on it and it created a boundary now it's creating it uh, because of the pin set but you need to change this to a hairline to cut it and make it red so you know it is a cut line or at least that's the way I do it so I know it's a cut line and I'm just gonna make it red so now we have a red cut line around our object but very easily with the nudge factor I can set it right back on top of it now, what I would also do to get the text to path, let's delete this. We don't need this. And that's a pretty cool uh, engraving effect. And let's just see what it looks like if it's a, I'm going to use the yellow box trick, uh, put back a page. That would be a very cool engraving to use that part of it. But we're going to go ahead and delete this right now. And we're going to go with the one we've got cleaned up because she's going to one great. And a couple of things you might want to consider before you do that. You might want to take the Smart Fill tool and make some areas a little different shade of black uh, or gray to give it a little bit of depth. And if you, I would just suggest doing it like this and leaving everything, everything else uh, like it is so you can write on it. But we're going to take our curvature out of the way and we're actually going to make a duplicate of it. Control D and move that out of the way for a second. Now, I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to draw it like right here and right here. And I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete the rest of the line. Now, I have a curve of the same exact shape as what I need. So, we'll put it up here for a second. We'll remove my two lines I drew. I'll delete them. I'll get my line back. And now, I can do text of path. And I don't know what she's planning to put on there, but I'm just going to put um, good luck and change it to whatever kind of text you want. We're going to go with that right now. Go up while that is selected, go up to text, fit text to path, and then click on your path here. And sometimes it'll do that. Just kind of hit the escape key and start over. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let's move the luck out of the way. Fit text to path. And, and see, it's, it's trying to pick up that other path. And once you've done that, it's, you're kind of stuck. Uh, let's back completely up here and show you probably the better way to do that would be to take both these and do not move them, but cursor them out of the way because you can always nudge them back. And then this time, it should pick up that other other part. Let's just move it on top. Go to text. Fit text to path. 
and it goes straight down, and it's still putting it upside down. I don't know why Corel does that sometimes, but that's good. That'll work. And then you could mirror it that away and mirror it that away. And you could play around with these numbers and get it back on your line. And really, we want to be off that line quite a bit. So that's good. And then go up to object and, um, well, what we need to do is select them both and then go to object and break text apart. Now your text should go right back into your spot. We'll just nudge it over. And it could be a little bit taller, but now you would want your nudge factor a little bit less. So we're going to put 0 0.005, click on our text and just go straight up. And then you could actually go over a little bit. And depending on how much um, text you need to put on there, that would be the best way. Now, this will cut out. There's our line get rid of it and bring this back over well go back we had our nudge factor set on two inches before we need to make it two inches grab that and put it right back on top so now this will cut out and engrave it could still be cleaned up a little bit uh, but depending on how large it is uh, you know the, the the line thickness is a little bit more but you could play around with the uh, shape tool and get that a little closer let's just nudge out of the way let's take our letters out of the way for a second let's take this and left click right click and you can see your lines matter of fact we'll take our grays and nudge them out of the way and just kind of look at it it's almost looking at it like with wireframe and just look at your lines like these are a little bit squiggly if you have x Eight and above, you could use the uh, smoothing tool to kind of smooth that out a little bit more. And right down here, they're a little close, so let's zoom in. And take just your normal shape tool. And let's just, let's take away this node. I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm going to take this node and just move it out of the way a little bit. And you can just kind of go over that whole thing and look at it like that. And then once you're good with it, right click on fill left click on no outline and then nudge it back and there you have a pretty good engravable banner type effect and it will cut out anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching